Howdy, y'all. Welcome back to Box of Rocks, and today is a special episode. This episode is brought to you by... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just making stuff up. Uh, <clears throat> lots of things I want to do today. Lots of things happened off camera. Like I said, uh, I was going to delve into a uh, calculator off camera because it's a lot of buttons and things like that. But, 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 <laughs> turns out uh, there is a lot of, uh, well, not a lot, but a lot of the uh, the starter things like the uh, base uh, stuff for calculator is a uh, has exchange value so things like like these the things that cause you to have to make thousands and thousands of buttons these things right here uh, they, they have EMC basically well this one does and this one does which is huge actually and this does too, which is huge, actually. That one doesn't. Um, so yeah, so basically the first thing you gotta do is you gotta make one of these as a calculator. You gotta make the calculator first. And then you move on to the scientific calculator. And then the ultimate is the flawless calculator. Now, I wanted, this was my goal, was to make the flawless calculator. So you need all of this fun stuff to make the flawless calculator. And everything other than these diamonds are calculator related items. Uh, so you need these things, you need these things. Now these things, once you make them, they have exchange energy. So I only had to make them once, which is really good. And thanks to this lovely device over here, it's just just pumping out diamonds. I don't even have to freaking worry about it. I mean, I've, I accidentally clicked a lot of furnaces in, in Birchwood. My bad. Uh, so, yeah, I've just been dumping, just dumping stuff in here. So you can see I got this and I got this. So anyways, yeah, so you make... We'll go to the calculator chest. So you make the calculator, you make this, you make the scientific calculator, then you make a bunch of these. These also have uh, exchange energy, which is excellent. Uh, you're making enriched gold, you're making enriched gold ingots, you're making reinforced iron and reinforced dirt and reinforced stone. Uh, these are all pretty much interchangeable and really easy to make, not that hard. Uh, most of them are just uh, wood. Like if you get uh, planks with cobble, We'll get you reinforced stone, planks with dirt, get you reinforced dirt and planks with, uh, what is it? No, it's iron with, uh, reinforced stone because you have reinforced iron. Uh, the enriched gold is golden redstone, gets you four of these. You smelt it, it gets you enriched gold ingots. Blah, blah, blah. Atomic binder, uh, recipe. Super easy. Just the enriched gold in that. So all these things work its way down to this so you make this and then you make you gotta make calculators and you do this and you make those things and you, you gotta make this so the end diamond this end diamond is pretty cool actually uh, you can use it as like a, an endless source of ender pearls so it'll throw an ender pearl and let you uh, teleport now this is how you make it now you need an atomic calculator first of all now if you look through here none of these are atomic calculators the atomic calculator is a block it's this sucker right here the atomic calculator um, whatever makes it atomic I have no idea but this is what it does it doesn't require power you don't have to make a, a you know a, any kind of thing like that it's just you make it and this is the recipe for it you need one of these things to make it so I had to make two of these these are the the pains but it's real easy because these have uh, exchange energy so it went a lot faster I didn't have to make thousands and thousands of buttons I actually only had to make buttons once oh, it was awesome the power cubes these uh, have VMC as well exchange energy I should say so those were pretty easy and that's pretty nice to be able to just click out of there but anyway so once you do that so then you make one of these in order to make an end diamond, you need end stone, which I had, you need obsidian, which I had, and you need an electric diamond. The electric diamond, believe it or not, requires you to make another machine. So you, first of all, need a conductor mast. And you're not going to get an electric diamond without a fire diamond. So you need a conductor mast. The conductor mast is this sucker right here look oh I'm lost here we go 
So we got the conductor mast. Just blinked out of existence for a second there. That was kind of funny. And the atomic calculator. Uh, if you remember this thing in my uh, anti-material energy let's play, this thing would hit you with lightning <laughs> every so often. Um, it hasn't done that so far. Um, it's been pretty nice, and it hasn't uh, hasn't done anything crazy. And I'm not sure what these day-night buttons are for, but they don't really do anything other than change that. But you need to make a fire diamond first. So make a fire diamond. You need an atomic calculator. So you have to make the atomic calculator first. So you need to do this. So then once you make the atomic calculator, you make the fire diamond. The fire diamond is pretty simple. Two diamonds, blaze rod, fire diamond. You take the fire diamond, you put it in here, it gets you an electric diamond. You take the electric diamond, you put it back in the atomic calculator with the end stone and the obsidian, and that gets you an end diamond. And then you also need these, uh, is it flawless? I can't remember, is it flawless diamonds you need? Flawless diamonds, yes you do. Flawless diamonds. Atomic calculator again, and this stuff—the atomic uh, atomic binders are real simple, whatever. Uh, and then two diamonds, and you get a flawless diamond. So then you put all that together. It really was—it was really quick. It, it took me forever on the antimaterial let's play uh, pack. So flawless calculator, yeah, it was great. The flawless calculator allows you to make things. Um, allows you to do all sorts of things. Uh, mainly, here I'll just grab it and I'll show you some of the recipes. You have it, uh, through here. Where did I put it? There it is. Bang. The flawless calculator is four sets, so it adds and then divides and then adds that. So you can do all sorts of things. You can use it to make other blocks such as their uh, power gen, uh, this stable stone, I don't know what that's all about. Uh, a lot of these things I don't know. Uh, you can do four blaze powders and make a blaze rod. You can do four blaze rods and make a gas tier. You can make this up called flawless glass. You can do four things of iron and make an ender pearl. You can also do broccoli and make a fiddle do fruit. Yeah, don't ask me. I don't know what a fiddle do fruit is. Uh, controlled fuel uh, has a huge burn time, so if you need anything that has burn time, uh, there you go. Uh, four things of gold makes a diamond. Um, I was trying to look into things. I don't know what a locator module is, but I was trying to find a way to, like, instead of having the, the condenser make diamonds, maybe have the condenser back to gold, and I could use the gold and turn that into diamonds, but I might as well just stick it in the table anyway, so it's not really doing anything. One well, actually, two things, and they're both right here that I'm interested in, is this. This purified obsidian. Uh, this purified obsidian. Well, let me talk about this first. This diamond sapling. Uh, two end diamonds, real easy to make, obviously. Cement stone and a sap, uh, a pear sapling. I need to uh, make a pear first. A pear sapling. Which is amethyst sapling and tanzanite sapling. So you need to make these two first, and then make a pear sapling, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Yeah. Well, anyways, this diamond sampling will get you uh, diamond shards. Uh, let's see if I can find them. I think. I think it gets you diamond shards. If at least it gets you diamond wood, which is blue. Which is this light blue-ish kind of color. And some leaves, diamond leaves. And they're just really neat. But um, the obsidian, the purified obsidian. Let me show you what this says indestructible a security block it's only removable with the obsidian key which is this thing right here this obsidian key which is you know not that hard to make but you need to make purified obsidian first indestructible this could be really good for making a whole bunch of this stuff it doesn't have a, uh, an exchange value, unfortunately, but you can make a whole bunch of this stuff and make a nice little box, and you can spawn some bosses in there. And if it's really, truly indestructible, that means there'll be no blowing it up or 
damage taken kind of thing. So a good place for a wither, uh, a good place for uh, just spawning crazy things, which is what I need to do next. Because I now have enough, I did a whole bunch of mine, I get a whole bunch of experience because I did a whole bunch of more. See, I'm up to protection three now on that. Uh, fire protection four on that one and protection two so I kind of ran out after those two but um, I'm slowly getting it up there uh, yeah where's it nope this one I went a little bit of dungeon crawling so I got uh, a bunch of these things because uh, if you look uh, on the map you notice when I was mining those uh, those better dungeons dungeons the better dungeons dungeons the ones that are just a whole bunch of rooms all lined up in a row and stuff uh, I, I went a little bit of exploring through there to try my new uh, toys out, um, but you see, I got the spawner bars here. Um, I only need I need one more of these bars, and then I can uh, and then a block of whichever I choose, either this one, this one, or this one, this one, the shadium. One of these three, I can make a, a boss mob out of. This one's like the fire boss, basically. You know, like so they represent whatever they are. Um, but yeah, so. Did a bunch of dungeon crawling and got a bunch of things and some new stuff like forest gems and cobalt leather and uh, some more thingies, uh, dull crystals, all sorts of crazy stuff, soul powders. Um, I found something called, I don't know what I did with it. Oh, I made this too, the basic greenhouse, and I'm not exactly sure how it works. I'm going to have to look it up. I found this pick, two inch pickaxe. Uh, my first intention, my main intention, was to find, uh, what I did with it. Huh, well, I chopped down one of the, uh, died, those big, the big old rainbow trees, and it gave me 28 golden apples and a notch apple, and I got seven, so I planted a whole bunch of saplings outside. Unfortunately, the chopper that I have out there, the diamond chopper out there, uh, it doesn't take them. It won't let you, uh, plant them from the chopper anyways uh, let's put the calculator back uh, what was I saying so yeah I did a little dungeon crawling got a, got a bunch of loot got uh, some new things uh, one of them was really neat 10% chance to reflect damage taken is pretty cool restore some life each kill um, I don't know what the radiation of Hoana is yet resist a fatal hit at the cost of your umber mew which I don't have yet. Double the amount of UBMRU has effect. Drop embers, prevents ember, enderman from teleporting, damage all enemies. Damage all enemies around upon kills is pretty cool. Uh, and killing mobs yields more drops. Um, probably wear that during a boss fight. Yeah, so anyways, I used uh, all of these things to make some more end diamonds because I got some new toys. Mainly this sucker right here. This guy is a pretty nifty little sword. It looks really cool because it's like 3D. And uh, the pick as well. They're end forged, that's what they're called. End forged pickaxe and end forged sword. Now you notice there's no durability. You know why there's no durability? Because they're unbreakable. They don't take durability. And this thing, yes, yes, it works with vein miner. So I have an indestructible pick that I can just vein mine until I get bored of vein mining. And so it makes vein mining very fun <laughs> I don't have to worry about it breaking and look at the attack damage on it it's got 18 attack damage on it this has got 20 the sword only has two more points of attack damage than the pick oh, so there's all sorts of crazy things in here I mean there's there's you know the electric sword is 14 uh, they don't really have like special attacks or anything like that they're just different you know levels of durability and stuff Where's the electric pick? Electric pick has 10,000 durability. The flawless diamond has 1,800. But, you see right here, and forge pickaxe. And forge pickaxe. Unbreakable. 
There it is. The God of Swords. <laughs> they are unbreakable. So it's pretty neat. It's pretty nice. Uh, so that's why I was like, uh, let's go test these out. So I went and found a whole, uh, you know, I went underground. There's a whole bunch of uh, down around here. But then I started looking above ground and I was like, what is this thing? There was a structure over here. There's this little structure here. There's this thing here. And then, of course, there's these things, which are just usual standard bunk, like chests with like some bread and maybe like a seed or something in it. But I want to know... So I went over here and I, 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 I took a peek inside. I didn't go inside it though. I want to know what this is. And I want to know what this I want to know what this is. So we're going to go find out what those things are. Be all going to come on. If I get out. Oh, oh, see, look. See, I made one and it grew. Nice. But they grow really low. It's really funny. But this is a diamond. This is a diamond tree. I didn't even notice it grew. Nice. Um, but like I said, they, they, they're pretty much kind of useless. You kind of just get them for the wood kind of thing. They all they all grow really squat like that. All right, we're going to go over here and try to see what this one is. What What is you? You should be... Over, oh, there you are. I went past you. Oh, oh, okay. I was not expecting that. Do I have anything valuable on me? No. Whoa, whoa, okay. What is that? What is that? Whoa. This is Essence of God stuff. Dungeon lamp fence? Dungeon chiseled brick. Mossy essence stone. Well, there's definitely some mobs down there. Mossy essence stone. Dungeon lamp stairs. That won't break. Wow. Ooh, that does though. See essence stone. Is it of a use? No. Okay. Going down. Hey guy. Dungeon lamp. I'm, I'm assuming. You descend. I don't know if there's a front door. I mean, there's nothing at the top, so I'm guessing you go down. Ooh. Jerk. Love the one shot, because it's 20 points. There is a front door. There's a lot of front doors. So, what is the point of this place? It's got blocks that you can't break. That's really weird. Didn't even have it, like any of the essence of the gods mobs in it. It just had skeletons and there were no spawners, nothing. Am I missing something here? Is there something I'm just not doing? Like, am I supposed to do something there? Uh, there it does uh, provide a lot of weird mobs. There's a uh, there's little mushrooms and like turtles and things. Okay, there's that other one. That is got a spawner in it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. yeah, yeah. yeah. I know, I'm trying to go quick. I'm trying to go quick. Because you're going to blast me. Yeah, I know, you're going to blast me. Stop it. Jesus. 
No, I'm not hungry. <laughs> Magic cookies. Nice. Covers 20 mana. I should start getting into that. There's a lot of flowers around here. Is this a flower biome or something? Flower forest. Yep. Show sure enough. Alright, let's go visit the, uh... There it is. Oh, look, yeah. Here's some Here's some of the new mobs. These are the big mushrooms. There's little... Oh, ooh. What are you guys? Where are you going? They just give you mushrooms. Her, 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 her. You gave me coal. Nice. Thanks. <laughs> Alright, let's let's poke our nose in this thing. There is a front door somewhere. There it is. Uh this is snow, by the way. Really odd. And there's There's a snowman spawner. They don't seem to be evil snowmen. <laughs> this is like a snowman hangout or something, so I won't trash the place. Hey, Mr. Snowman. Are these seriously all empty? No. Okay, good. <laughs> Definitely take the dull crystals. Gain resistance to wind tricks. I found a bunch of name tags. So that'll come in handy when I start making, uh... I want to know what's in here. Ha! Periodically game in, lose hunger. Take the dark steel, take... I'll take all this crap. The pick is really good on stone, but really... What the heck is that doing up there? But really sucks on everything else. Like it's really slow on dirt and stuff. Hmm. Why are there ladders here? Is that just to stop the things from joining? Wind effects are now elemental. Where your corruption heals? I don't think I have that one. Have a broken spawner. Are you guys stepping on pressure plates? While well, shearing various mobs for the cost of them. Resist a fatal hit. Yo, is there? Is there? A, what was? What was that noise? Is there a pressure plate or something somewhere? Oh, they're stepping on this thing. Yeah, okay. So this is what this is. This is like a... <laughs> this is a weird thing. I'm not gonna lie. Why is that noise? He's trying to kill that thing. Is it that thing? <laughs> I must kill the bunny. <laughs> is there another one? Look at all the snowballs down there. There is, there's another one. Oh, for some reason that sound is very satisfying. These guys have only ever given me mushrooms. There's another magical forest over here. What is that? It's random sand. Okay, I'm gonna take a quick peek at the map. Anything suspicious? Oh, that's suspicious. That is definitely suspicious. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, oh, that's got a. That's got a boss in it. 88.8 Look at this thing 
Is that nether brick? Nether brick and glowstone, huh? Imagine if I vein mine that thing. Oh, I so want to try it. What will you give me? Somebody please dare me to vein mine this thing. This thing's pretty far up. But there's, there's cows and sh there's sheep and pigs on the roof. Oh, the vein mine would be so evil right now. <laughs> 